guys, this is our Q&A video. We've had to go, but whenever we hit 300 subscribers, we was going to do a question and answer video where y'all asked us the questions and we answered. We took questions off of comments that people left at the end of our videos. And also, we had some posts on our Instagram account where, you know, people left comments there as well. And last time I checked, we have like 372 subscribers. So within the last couple of days, we've gained, you know, 72 more subscribers, which is... Pretty amazing. <laughs> so it's, 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 it's really crazy. Awesome. Very excited for all of the new um, subscribers that we have that's following us along. Yeah, welcome to the family. But we're going to get started on the questions that way we can answer as many as possible. So the first question we got asked to us is how long we have been married. We have been married three years. It was March 24th was our third year. So the next question. What's y'all's favorite song and artist? Okay, so I don't really have a favorite song. I listen to all kinds of music. But my favorite artist is the same from whenever me and him has dated. Like, they have been my favorite artist for years now. But my favorite singers are, I love Eric Church, and I love Bon Jovi and The Temptations. And yes, they are very old, but I could listen to their music all the time, and I have their songs on CDs and on my phone. And we've, we have listened to them almost all the time. <laughs> I listen to a lot of different genres, but... My favorite song is uh, Knocking on Heaven's Door by Guns N' Roses. I've always liked that song. That was my dad's favorite song. And I don't know, it just stuck with me forever. So that, that's my favorite song. How did you guys meet and how are you proposed to? We actually met um, at the first college that we both attended. So we actually attended a college before the college that we actually got our degree from. And that is where I met Blake. Now how we were proposed to, we're not actually going to talk about that because we are going to do a video that actually tells our story of how we met, how he proposed to me, and kind of up until this point of where we stand now. Why are you so awesome? It has, <laughs> I'm not going to lie, it's taken years and years of practice to perfect it. But uh, it's like an aura around us, but I don't know. I don't know, we're just awesome. That's all, that's all I can say about that. How old are y'all? So I turned 24 December the 18th. I was born in 1990. And unlike grandma here, <laughs> I was turned 24 March the 8th and I was born in 91. So I am like three months and some odd days older than him. <whistles> what made you start doing YouTube videos? Her. Um, you know, since we have actually went through infertility treatment and stuff, we just, we just wanted to actually capture this moment and more than just, you know, looking back and what we can remember an actual picture. When the day comes that we have overcome this challenge in our life, we actually have the videos to look back on and just seeing, you know, where we stood then and how we stand today. And not only that, we also wanted to uh, put this out there to kind of kind of be motivation and inspiration to, to other people that's kind of going through the same stuff that we are. That's why we started and also I mean we just wanted our own personal documentation. Since we've been doing this we've talked about several different things like we wish we would have been videoing for our wedding or our honeymoon or whenever we lived in you know we rented our trailer. Like it would have been so cool to actually been able to look back and see actual video footage of that time during our life. Right. The next question is can y'all curl your tongue? You betcha. <laughs> And I will show you taco tongue now. <laughs> and I can do it too. So I know that's like a genetic thing, like not everybody can do it. I don't think my mom can do it, but my dad can do it. And he can also like twist his tongue like completely upside down. No, I'm not coordinated to do that, but <laughs> we definitely nailed curling yeah, the tongue. Yeah, we got the taco tongue. <laughs> Watch y'all's favorite YouTuber. I don't think Blake really watches YouTube like I do. I watch several different YouTubers, but the one that I actually watch consistently, and if I do miss any by the end of the week, I have caught up on. I do watch Ellie and Jared Meekum. Um, and then I also watch um, Bonnie, Ellie's sister. I, I love Bonnie. I watch them. You know, them are the ones that I stay on top of. No, I do. I actually watch several others but just not as frequently as i do those two and if i watch youtube watch um epic fails 
<laughs> um, anything that has to do with football, anything that has to do with working out, or any any of my geeky stuff, I like to keep up to date on. So if I YouTube, it's it's for that. Yeah, and if you don't know who like you know Ellie and Jared are or Bonnie, I'll put their link to their channel down below in the description. And what was your favorite thing to do as a kid? Okay, so my favorite thing to do as a kid, me and my brother always had um, like four wheelers, three wheelers, goat carts. We always had stuff to do outside, like riding stuff. So that was my favorite thing to do. I mean, whether it be in the summer, in the winter, we always had friends over. We had trails and woods all um, behind my grandparents' house and my parents' house. And we was all the time, you know, on a four-wheeler, on a three-wheeler, on the goat cart. And we was just all the time riding. And that was my favorite thing to do growing up as a kid. That's my most memorable thing. We had a lot, you know, we had a lot of good experience. And we also had some accidents that happened along the way. But that was my favorite thing to do. Thing growing up was uh, travel baseball. Um, that's where I met all my all my you know good friends. You know even in elementary school, and we got to travel different states and cities and stuff like that. So that's probably my favorite thing growing up. <laughs> Next question is, how many kids do you want? Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. Tell um. Me. So we've actually discussed this, and I've, I've always, like even whenever I was smaller, I always have wanted four to five kids. So that's just how many, you know, that that's the answer to that question. I've always wanted four or five kids. And we've discussed it, and he's fine with whatever, just as long as he <laughs> can provide for us. Yeah, as long as I can, long I can feed him, we'll keep having Yeah, him. so. What is your symptoms as of now? I'm not really going to answer a lot of the baby thing, like baby questions such as that, because I am going to start doing weekly updates. But just, you know, a little quick couple of answers. I haven't threw up or anything, but I just haven't felt good. It usually hits me during the evening whenever I get off from work, which is great, but it's just like, I don't feel good. I guess it is I'm nauseated. I mean, I'm not throwing up, but I just, I don't feel good. And I just, I, I just want to lay in my bed. And I have had cravings. I um, have went through a huge like jar like this tall, this big around of nacho cheese where I would take pickles and dip in the nacho cheese and it took me like a week to go through that jar. And since then, I have really loved macaroni and cheese. So I've really been craving cheese stuff. But that's all I'm going to say about that because the weekly videos are going to start soon. Are you planning on having another kid? So that kind of is answered in our other question. You know, we've said we wanted four or five kids. So most definitely we're planning on having another one. A whole, whole basketball team of them. What's your favorite memory together? Our favorite memory together. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say our honeymoon. Our honeymoon was a pretty awesome experience. You know, we got to go up to the Smoky Mountains, spend a week up there in our cabin all by ourselves with Oakley, of course. <laughs> and uh, it was I mean it was it was awesome. I mean it was really awesome. So my favorite memory of us together would have to be whenever we lived in our trailer because we did you know we were still in college. We was going through we was married going through college. He worked a part-time job. I worked a part-time job. We didn't have any stress of anything on us. You know, we wasn't trying for kids yet. We didn't know we had fertility issues. We didn't have a lot of money, but yet we made the best of everything. Like we had the best time whenever we was renting our trailer and we was actually going to college. Cause we did do stuff. We did go out hiking and we done stuff, but it was just like, it just goes to show you that you don't have to have a lot of things or have a lot of money to actually have fun with each other and make the best out of what you have. So our next question, what are some of your favorite baby names for a boy or girl? Nice try guys. I mean, did you honestly think I was just going to give you that information on a little silver platter for you? No, I'm not going to tell you what the baby names are that we have because we're going to do something special that actually announces that. So y'all just stay tuned along on our journey and you will find out soon enough what baby name we have picked out. Yeah, what do you, what do you think about having your first kid? We're very excited about having, you know, this baby. Just like we was excited about our other two pregnancies, the feeling is still the same. I'm just excited to actually have a baby that at the end of the day, it's mine. You know, I'm taking it home with me. It's something that I can look at and I know me and my husband has made him or her and that at the end of the day, throughout all the funds and fuss and all that, you know, that little precious baby is going home with us and, you know, no one can take him or her from us. So that's just one of the 
main things that I'm looking forward to is actually having that baby that's mine. Yeah, you know, I'm the same way. I'm I'm tickled pink. I'm so excited, you know, that this is you know this is happening to us. But um, you know, I'm also nervous. You know, I'm also a little scared. But you know, I know everything's gonna be all right. But you know, it's just a whole thing of you know, having a kid, having that extra responsibility. You know, that I know nothing about yet. So that that makes me nervous. But I'm I'm so excited. Words can't even describe. Okay. So next question: How do you t find time to vlog? Whenever we're taking you guys along with us, like we did the baby hauls or the anniversary out and the house tour, stuff with their interaction is a piece of cake. I mean, we just pull out the camera, we get looks, but we don't care. So whenever we're doing videos like this, we're either doing them late at night or early in the morning. But that's just how time, how we find time to vlog as of right now. Yeah, yeah. Like you said, we're going out to Target or Baby's Art. That's that's a piece of cake. Awesome. You know, no worries. It's just when we have to actually set time aside. Yeah, it gets gets a little rough, but we we really enjoy vlogging, so we we don't mind making time for it. Okay, what's your favorite and least favorite food? Uh, well, my my favorite food is my grandma's chocolate and biscuit, <laughs> with chocolate gravy and biscuit, and my least favorite food is ranch dressing. I will not eat that for nobody. Okay, so my favorite food, I love chicken. I'm not a huge steak person or like pork chop or anything like that. Like I love anything chicken. I love chicken salad. Um, I love chicken alfredo. I'm just a chicken person. If I'm going to have pick one meat to actually eat, it will be chicken. Now I absolutely cannot stand and will not eat to this day lasagna. I don't know if it's like the... Um, white stuff that goes in between the like big old noodles plastered together i don't know what it is if it's the texture of the food or whatever but that's just absolutely disgusting i have never liked it and i still do not like that until till this day so and if you are not from the south and you have no idea what i was talking about chocolate biscuit and gravy let me know i'll send you a recipe because that is the one best food that god ever put on this earth guaranteed Okay, so our last and final question: Do you want a boy or girl? I don't. I don't. I don't care which one we have. I really don't care. For someone that has had a baby taken from them so early and soon, like we have, the gender of the baby that we get to keep doesn't matter. I mean, regardless, it be a boy or a girl, we're gonna love it the same no matter what. And to me, that's that's not what's important. To me, what's important is that we have a healthy baby and that we bring that baby home this December. I see it. So, that is our Q&A video. If you enjoyed this, give this video a thumbs up. Um, we're going to do another Q&A video, and that one probably will be done whenever we hit 1,000 subscribers. So, we have a little ways to get there. But, as, al as always, you know, if you, have a, you know, if you enjoy our page and you haven't subscribed yet, please yeah. go down and subscribe. And also, like, I don't know if a lot of people are aware of what the actual subscribe actually means. It doesn't cost anything. It is free. And the only thing that does is just notify you guys whenever we upload a new video. So, that's simply what the subscribe button does. Anyways, guys, until then, we will see you in the next video.